is that how they wear masks in Britain. Matt Hancock's affair with a married aide goes global as he's brutally mocked on Australia's Have You Been Paying Attention? A headline-making British sex scandal resulted in some hilarious jibes courtesy of the Aussie comedians on Have You Been Paying Attention? On Monday, the panel reacted to the resignation of UK Health Minister Matt Hancock, whose affair with a married aide was caught on CCTV and splashed across the tabloids. Is that how you wear a face mask in Britain? asked Glenn Robbins. Tim McDonald added, I do know this. That's Matt Hancock. He was the health minister, he's now the minister for home affairs. Quizmaster Tom Glasner said Hancock's extramarital affair was in breach of Covid rules, adding, he's been forced to withdraw, resign. He's stepped down from his post. Anne Edmonds then asked if you could get Covid like that, round the back, referencing Hancock's hand placement in the leaked CCTV footage. Tom replied, well, I think it might be an exposure site. The woman in question, Gina Coladangelo, is married to businessman Oliver Tress. At the time the pair were recorded kissing in Hancock's office last month, it was against the rules for people to have intimate contact with a person outside their household. Those of us who make these rules have got to stick by them and that's why I've got to resign Hancock said as he announced his departure. According to various reports, Hancock and Coladangelo are in love and have now left their respective spouses to be together. Hancock had been at the center of the UK government's fight against the pandemic, routinely appearing on television to tell people to follow strict rules and to defend his department against criticism of its response to the crisis. He has been replaced by Sajid Javid, a former finance minister with widespread government experience but new to health. Javid was forced out of the Treasury in early 2020 when he lost a power battle with Johnson's then most senior ally, Dominic Cummings. He will be tasked with helping the state-run health service recover from the pandemic and to deal with any future infection waves. Cases have started to rise in the last month. Hancock's departure also marks an embarrassment for Johnson after he said on Friday that he had accepted Hancock's apology and considered the matter to be closed. He said on Saturday he was sorry to receive the resignation. You should be immensely proud of your service he wrote in reply to Hancock. I am grateful for your support and believe that your contribution to public service is far from over.